Is it not? Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I am Yolanda Pensa, uh, Chair of Wikimedia Italy and also lead for the, for the project Empowering Italian Glams and uh, Dario Crespi at uh, Wikimedia Italy, uh, coordinator for this project. And uh, today we wanted to uh, tell you about uh, this uh, possible strategy, so it's a proposal, uh, to involve uh, all uh, Glams, so all museums in the world. Um, I have to admit that I like a project that uh, somehow change the perspective. This is uh, something that I really enjoy. And uh, we also have some experiences in changing perspectives. So Wikimania is in Olario was, a, we like a disruptive project. We produces 30,000 African contribution to the Wikimedia project. We involved over a hundred institutions in share your, share your knowledge. So we have some experiences of uh, doing large scale project and do some experimental one. Also in uh, uh, visual data and on communication campaigns. Um, so why 100,000 museums? Because this is uh, the number of museums around the world. This is the data from uh, UNESCO uh, annual report. So we're talking about uh, a quite extensive number of institutions. And uh, there are many reasons why uh, the Wikimedia movement can be interested in having them all. Uh, so we're talking about uh, uh, disseminating open access, we're talking about producing open content that can be uh, interoperable with our project. It's also a way to uh, trigger openness in a more large way, to involve the world, to also trigger diversity, because of course if we get institutions from all over the world, we get a more diverse kind of uh, uh, knowledge. And we're talking about existing knowledge. Uh, museums uh, are research institutions, as we know. Uh, this is, was also the earliest uh, definition of ICOM about museums. And there are institutions that are interested in accessibility, so they could be very relevant partners. So at the moment, uh, what we are doing is to work on uh, uh, contacts with museums, but we tend to work on one-to-one uh, -one relationships with museums. So we negotiate, we make agreements, we make projects with museums, we involve often Wikipedian in residence. This is a very efficient way to uh, work on uh, training, licensing, events, uh, uploads, uh, and it is an efficient uh, system. But on the other hand, it also has some disadvantages. The most important one is that it's not democratic. So it's not possible for all museums to actually enter the system. It costs too much, it's not scalable. Um, there are some cases in which Wikipedia in residence worked uh, with more than one institutions and also on a territorial basis. So maybe project with cities. So we have some experiences, but obviously working with a uh, hundred thousand uh, museum is not possible uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. Even if uh, it is a plus value. So institutions need a human interface. So the reality is that we always need to have people involved in projects. So we cannot obviously avoid this part. This is a very important one and a very valuable one. But we need to find other ways to involve a bigger number of institutions. So what we propose and what we are actually working on in Italy is to address all institutions at once and to try to create a more democratic system that allows all institutions to have an entry point in our collaboration, in our work. And uh, uh, try to create a system that allows all institutions to receive support. We also need to consider that uh, our projects are not meant for institutions. So you cannot contribute to Wikimedia Commons as an institution. So uh, there are some problems of the system that we need also to take care. We, are, we have legal situations that are different from one country to the other, and this is another challenge. So there are many elements that we need to take into account. And of course, uh, we need to monitor data and we need people to get involved. So the process that we propose starts with Wikidata. So the idea is uh, let's work on uh, the data of museums on Wikidata. Let's improve those data. Let's make sure that uh, current research existing in this area are uploaded so that we have a database that can be used by us to monitor the situation. Uh, we can know uh, what is the digital situation in museums in different countries and different areas of the world. But we can also um, uh, allow uh, humanities to use the data. So those data is obviously valuable because you create a catalog of uh, museums for any country. 
The second step is to create uh, the uh, contact details for those museums. So let's look for email addresses and contacts. Um, this means uh, uh, collaborating with ICOM, for example, uh, in uh, uh, associating each institution with an address and then contacting them all. So sending uh, mass email to all museums, informing them uh, that they can uh, uh, contribute to um, the Wikimedia project, they can have uh, an open access policy uh, and they can uh, also collaborate with the Wikimedia project. Uh, of course, this goes with a series of uh, support tools. Uh, one is an online form that allows an institution to uh, upload their content uh, outside the Wikimedia world with authorization, uh, trainings, uh, a centralized support. We also design a survey to actually understand why institutions have problem in joining in. And uh, the last step is related to case studies. So to focus on a series of museums that allows us to get into more details and uh, uh, to highlight also difficulties and uh, what is working. So the advantage of this system is that of course we improve Wikidata, which is always a good result. That's an obvious one. Um, we produce a data set of uh, contact work that can be used for uh, uh, chapters and other institutions to obviously uh, get better uh, contact with the museum. But also we create a system that is designed for everybody so that also small institution can join in. And uh, this uh, uh, kind of project works very well also with networks of institution. Uh, obviously, we need always to take into account uh, the legal situation, the necessity of having to work with uh, people, uh, which is uh, obviously also an advantage, um, but uh, it obviously requires uh, to coordinate big teams. And also the truth uh, is that an institution that doesn't know what is open access, it takes around two years to actually implement open access. And that's the reality of life. But sometimes they're waiting for us. So there are some institutions that were just waiting for you and you arrive and you're just making life easier. And so it takes less uh, long. Um, there are three elements that I want to also highlight in this uh, idea. Um, the first one is that institutions are very different one from the other and the vast majority of institutions have uh, only one staff member or they're run by volunteers. It's quite shocking to see in the majority of uh, museums are very small and uh, creating a system that allows also very small inst of institutions that maybe don't have digitalized content to participate can be something valuable because of course we get a lot of diversity, we get uh, access to uh, institutions that work in different territories that have uh, very different knowledges. So what we uh, targeted was to invo invite institutions to simply upload uh, around 20 images, expecting that they would join with 10. So a very limited uh, number of images that they would release uh, in CC0 with open license. Then we're gonna get more into details. But they can join the project just with uh, this uh, uh, little block of images and with uh, the start of an open access policy. Other institutions, of course, they can do more. They can uh, uh, release content, websites, uh, collections. And uh, the biggest institution, we expect them to work on a data management plan. So it means that they look at all the documentation they have. They look at how it is released, stored and uh, distributed. And they can improve that uh, with uh, open access policies that can make this uh, con content more accessible. So this is the second element of the project. We don't look only at... Uh, digital reproduction of collections, but we look at all the kind of documents that an institution produces. It can be educational material, publication, catalogs, it can be um, the panels that they have in the museums, websites, uh, obviously the research work that museums uh, are asked to uh, do. Um, so not only working on uh, uh, digital reproduction of uh, public domain uh, collections, but a broader spectrum of uh, content. And the last thing, we look at uh, uh, legal issues. In Italy, we're quite aware of the problems. So we all know that it's not that easy to upload <laughs> images of the collection. So all the procedure also took into account uh, the legal aspect and the authorization needed to actually make those upload and to uh, comply with very complex legislation like ours. So the project that we are implementing in Italy is called uh, Empowering Italian Glams. Tutti musei su Wikipedia, all museums on Wikipedia. And it is this campaign that we are actually already implementing in Italy. It is a project promoted by Wikimedia Italy. We are doing it in collaboration with ICOM Italy. 
with Creative Commons Italy, so we have also the legal support, and with the University of Torino, uh, so they are also doing the research and monitoring of uh, content. And it is co-funded by the Wikimedia Foundation. You find all the information about the project and the ongoing reports on Meta. And uh, I leave to Dario to explain a little bit more about that. Thank you. Yeah, um, the projects uh, consist of three steps for museums. Uh, the first is uh, upload uh, about 20 images uh, of uh, the building, uh, uh, mu the museum building, the collections, but also, as Yolanda said, uh, other kind of materials, uh, not directly on Wikimedia Commons, but, but uh, in a uh, repository where we can uh, uh, control what they, 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 they share with us. So then we can uh, upload them on Commons. Uh, all mm, those materials must be uh, CC0. Second step uh, is um, uh, state uh, the support to open access uh, through an open access policy and uh, other kind of authorization uh, for uh, sharing materials. Uh, third step, uh, a descriptive text about uh, the institution, its history, its collections a bibliography and uh, a review of uh, um, data on Wikidata. Those materials can be used uh, by volunteers on Wikimedia projects to improve uh, articles on Wikipedia, Wikivoyage, etc. Each of these steps uh, can be um, uh, done with a simple online form. Uh, it's uh, now av available in English, but uh, it can be translated in every language. And um, uh, now we have uh, uh, these uh, results after a year of projects. It's uh, uh, middle-term results. Uh, first of all, we created uh, or improved uh, almost 7,000 uh, um, items on Wikidata about uh, Italian museums. And uh, it's uh, uh, the most complete and detailed database about uh, museums in Italy. Also because it is uh, uh, combined with national statistics and uh, data from uh, <coughs> Wiki project, Wikiglam projects. Uh, then we collected over uh, 4,000 uh, uh, contacts of museums and we sent them emails in March, July uh, 2023. And uh, we plan to send a recall in next September. Um, well, before the project, uh, almost uh, a thousand museums uh, um, join uh, Wikilos Monuments in Italy. So they, were, they have a, a passive contribution on the project by uh, uh, um, granting a permission to take photos of this, uh, their collections. But now we have uh, 105 museums actively involved in sharing uh, materials. Uh, and this is a great number because uh, in the past years, we have five, six, seven museums a year, now 105. Um, finally, we have uh, five case, stu case studies, uh, more involved with, um, much, uh, with a larger number of, number of materials and uh, in, um, uh, a data management plan. For example, uh, Museo Gizzi in Turin shared with us uh, on Commons uh, 600, uh, 6 thousands of images of their collection and other thousands of images will be uh, shared uh, soon. Yolanda? Um, something that we've been working on is also uh, facilitating uh, the monitoring of those information online. So we have a tool, you find it on data.vikilosmonuments.it that allows also to select uh, uh, GLAMS uh, and also you can have all the statistics on how um, images uh, uh, are collected on Wikimedia Commons and uh, the data on uh, Wikidata associated to GLAMS. So, uh, this is what happened in, uh, in Italy in the last year. 
and uh, we think that it could be uh, an approach that could be applied to other territories. Uh, the case of, uh, those are the numbers that uh, UNESCO says we, we found, obviously, uh, more museums because uh, uh, the numbers of uh, UNESCO are quite approximative. Um, but uh, uh, it gives uh, an idea of uh, the distribution of museums uh, in, uh, in the world. And imagining to do a similar project, maybe for Africa, for India, for other area of the world, could maybe be an interesting uh, way of uh, testing uh, the system and also contacting many institutions. Um, the project uh, seems uh, very efficient as a communication campaign. It is, uh, uh, we found that also right now in Italy we have uh, a very, um, a particularly uh, restrictive system of governmental system and uh, choices of the government also in uh, restricting uh, even uh, uh, public domain uh, images, asking for uh, payments uh, on uh, every commercial use of those images. So it's a very uh, harsh period for us. But uh, the positive uh, um, uh, element that we highlight is that uh, open access uh, uh, become really something that uh, institutions are very eager about. So providing a solution could be something that maybe can be promoted.